soaking is when um, you have a man who just sticks it in and essentially lets it soak. We were raised as Orthodox Mormons, married in 19 and 21 as virgins. I'm Spartacus and you're watching Ex-Mormon TikTok. And the idea behind it is that if it's just in, but not moving back and forth, or there's no movement, it's not a sin. We knew little to nothing about doing it. I got dumped by a guy who told me that his patriarchal blessing says he would marry a girl who skis, and I was a snowboarder. I was given two other gems of advice. Never say no to your husband, and only slutty and worldly women actually like it. Every person who has reached a certain level of the Mormon church, um, we use the word endowed or have reached a certain level of worthiness, has to wear the Mormon garment, which is the official term for Mormon magic underwear. The only time I took my garments off was um, to shower, to swim, to have sex, and occasionally to exercise. Yeah, so I got married in this. The garments are supposedly a protection from Satan. I also had to chant in a circle. Yeah, covering my face. Oh yeah, don't forget. As Mormons, you heavily focus on the Book of Mormon because we believe that it's the most corrected, translated book of scripture that there is. The church employs a lot of thought control and mental and emotional manipulation throughout all of its teachings. An example of this would be the insidious teaching of families can be together forever. On the surface, this seems like a really beautiful teaching about eternal families. Until you realize that it's actually very conditional on the basis of doing everything exactly the way the Mormon Church wants you to do it. So there's a thing in the Mormon church that's called Trek, which is where all the Mormon teenagers dress up as pioneers and pull hand cards um, to remember the ancestors that traveled to Utah. So Utah was founded by the Mormons. The majority of people who live in Utah are Mormons. As some of you may know, the Beehive House is where Brigham Young housed all of his many wives, um, 55 to be exact. People are leaving the Mormon church in droves. Many because of church history related issues such as anachronisms in the Book of Mormon, Joseph Smith being a sexual predator, polygamy, and many more. I realized a lot of things that were said in doctrines that I didn't know about like back in the 1900s that were so racist, so wrong, so sexist. I spiraled down a rabbit hole of plethora of information where the literality of what I was taught about the church was not meshing. So I went through a very long and painful process of deconstructing my faith. Growing up in the Mormon church, I was taught that this coffee, I was taught that it was evil. So many of my life choices were made for me because I was part of the LDS church. Um, I feel like a lot of my life was quite literally stolen from me. I guess I'm a sinner drinking Satan's juice, <laughs> but at least it's really good. There's so much grieving that comes from leaving the Mormon church. You lose your community. You lose all, a lot of your friendships. I'm just so thankful for the community that I found here on TikTok that is just understanding of what I'm going through. 